I we got corrupt minds when terrible parents realize they've been arrested. To be good people and be. Come on, forget to do this. All right. Parents are supposed to be good people and be role models for their children. But what happens when these parents are actually evil? Here are cases when evil parents realize they've been caught. Starting with Yahara Terado, 28, and Jacob Kruger, 25. Two parents who in 2019 had a police officer come to them to ask why their two-year-old child was walking in the middle of a busy street. Yeah. Who's? Did we find? No. I, I just pulled over. I okay. found a they were walking in the road? Yes, his baby. He actually... Oh, I know where he, I know where he is. I think I'm pretty sure I know which one. He's from that one right there. Oh, good. I'm pretty sure. I hope so. Hey, buddy. Hey, you want, I don't know if you want to come to me or are you good over there? Oh, look at this you. Awful. All right, let's go. Let me... Hang tight. Can you pull over here for me one second? I think I remember this guy. You, does he say anything to you? No, he didn't. He didn't say anything. He's not afraid of that for sure. He didn't say nothing, though? Oh, okay. These two women driving in Florida found a small child who was covered in bed bugs and had a dirty diaper on. Wandering. Bed bugs are real? I thought they were fake. I thought they were like a myth, like a like a mermaid. Covered in bed bugs. Or like a yeti or Bigfoot. I know bed bugs were real. And had a dirty diaper. This is new to me. That's the new every day. Wandering the street with no parents in I know bed bugs are real. Of seeing the kid, the police officer immediately knew who he belonged to, meaning that this wasn't his first time dealing with these parents' child neglect. Is this where you live? You live here? Do you live here? Yeah. That's where you live? How'd you get out? Is this where you came from? Yeah. See my blue lights, buddy? Look at that. We're gonna we're gonna sit in that car actually. Can you hang tight with him while I pull my car over here and we can he can sit in the back of my car for a second? Absolutely is. Come here. Goes. Hey, little man. Oh, you poor little diaper. Who or what is this person doing? I had to I had to pull over. I had to. No, absolutely. Where was he walking? He was just walking right here? Yeah, get ready to walk into the intersection. And I'm just pulling from Lisa Murray for my doctor's appointment. Okay. It freaked me out. Would you mind giving me a written statement about what exactly what happened? Okay, give me I one second. I definitely will, man. And I know you're working, so I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible oh, for you. Thank you. <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't want to say it's that trailer right there, right. but I was out here for a similar incident, and it was that trailer right there, so I'm going to try to find the mom again. Same child? They were younger, I'm pretty, they were younger, obviously, at the time, but oh, that's why I'm kind of remembering him. After receiving no answer at the parents' house, he starts asking the women about details in the situation, and while hearing everything, he gets reminded that he's been through this same situation with this child and his parents before. Back in 2018, officers went to the parents' home and arrested the mother for child neglect after finding out that she left her one-year-old and two-year-old home alone. Do you recognize me? No. You don't recognize me? I was here last time when this happened. You remember that? Yeah. And your son today was in the street walking out on US-1. And luckily, some nice ladies Daddy. saw him and stopped before he got smushed by a friggin' car. You know, what were you guys doing in there? We were just sleeping. Just sleeping? Yeah. It took the parents 30 minutes to finally come out and talk to the officer. And once they did, they seemed very tired and ashamed. The two officers on the scene agreed they had to call DCF, which is the Department of Children and Family, to help the child possibly get removed from the home for their safety, since it was clear the parents did not pay much attention to him. Step out of the car for me. Come here. Come on. Step out of the car. You want to arrest the parents? I've had enough of this with both of you. What? Is she getting arrested? You both are getting arrested, so get your kid dressed. For, for what? Child neglect. Why? Come on. What do you mean, why? <laughs> Why? Have a seat in the back of my car. No, I've had enough please. of you guys. Sit in the back. Get in there. Please, please, why? She crying? What do you mean, why? Kid, kid, sit, kid. sit in the back of the car. Slide in the car now. Sir. Poor parenting. Add that one to the list. Yes, yeah. Turn around. Come here. You, you're next. For what? He's your next. Why am I getting arrested? Child neglect. Put your hands behind your back. What did I do, though? 
What did you do? It's what about you didn't do. You didn't watch your kid. Your kid's out on the road. This is a history with you two. I mean, this is just a, a circus. All I want was the kid to get some clothes and get changed. What do you you guys couldn't even doing? do that. What do you think I was doing? Around. That's what you were doing. I was putting clothes on. This is not fair at all. It's not fair. Yeah, it's not fair to your son. That's what it's not fair to you. Have a seat. After getting arrested, the parents seemed to be more concerned of them being arrested rather than their kid who was walking down a busy street. The yeah. officer had enough of this situation and brought them to the station. The parents of the child. Talking about 1 800 drunk? What's your name? I forgot your name. Corrected minds? Child, Yahira Tirado and Jacob Kruger were arrested for child neglect. Their bond was set at $5,000. But if you thought evil parents stopped here, then you don't know about the case of this extremely deranged mother. In 2018, kids. Florida police arrived at a residence when they received. It's a like a dog, bro. About how a woman and her two kids were on. Like when you get a new dog, you gotta train it. It's kind of the same thing. Top of the garage ledge. Okay. Darling, darling. She's on Molly. It's okay. Dear. All right, all right. Everybody back up. Everybody back up. Everybody back up. On the roof. Dear, dear. You got the baby on the roof. You're not in trouble for anything. Okay, okay. Just get the kids back inside, please. Please, that's all we want you to do. Just get the kids back inside. How do we get in the house? You gonna knock them to knock the door over? Oh yeah, that's what they about to do. That's what they about to do. The officers were able to get into the woman's home and get to the top where she was. But immediately after getting on the ledge with her, she questioned if they were even real police officers. It was mentioned in a report that she was hallucinating at this moment. The officers continued to ask the mother to please bring her children inside the house, but she kept refusing. Yeah, right here. Come on. Please. See? This is you guys go inside, inside. Yeah. open this no, window up. I'll hand you the kids. No, 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 no,
Her earring flew the wall? went to her window, we can see the woman talking very fast. She explains why she's violating some motor vehicle laws is due to her ex-boyfriend hitting her car multiple times, which left the mother's car in a non-ideal state. However, after explaining this to the officer, she makes a questionable decision that escalated what happened? the situation. What happened? Oh, she drove off! She drove off! This is gonna be one. Stop! She drove off! She drove off! She drove off! She drove off! <laughs> back up! I need back up! She's running. Oh, she's running? Tempest is running. a four flat. I didn't see her run that fast. It's 1982. I know you still had it in you. But after only moments of driving, she crashed her vehicle with her child in the back. And instead of checking on her kid, she got out of the car and decided to run on foot. Oh, she left him? Let me see her I have a gun. I'll shoot you. Why? Let me see her One detained, dispatch. One detained. I'm just scared. We'll send me across of 548 North Clinton Avenue. Stay with the baby. Stay with the baby. Is she under arrest? Yes, yes. All right, we got the baby. Huh, don't let go. Is of the baby, baby all right? Don't let go of the baby. Huh? Don't let go of the baby. Just put him in the car. Put him in the car. Yeah, just the car. The officers very quickly caught up to her and were able to arrest Tempest. They were also able to get the child out of the car. But this wasn't the end of it, because after pulling the mother in one of the officer's vehicles, she starts explaining to the officer why she ran and left her child in the crashed car. Ma'am, I'm not that type of person. I'm just scared. So, if you're going to tell me a story... I'm going to tell you the whole thing. All right? And nothing but... Because thing. this was called in a few times, so if you're going to sit there I and lie... I called it in. Okay, so let's try again. And then you could tell me what happened. I and know. if you're not gonna be truthful, just, then you could keep adding charges. I'm not adding all right. On. So what happened? That's why I said it's no excuse for me running. I understand that's my fault. I'm not gonna take blame that on nobody. Earlier today, Santander Bay called. Sarik in the Nissan truck. Uh huh. He is my. What do you call it? The primary. I'm the co-signer. We broke up September. I haven't had access to this car, right? Uh huh. See, and Sanders like, oh well. That's the primary and, and the co-founder. You gotta get co a report from the police station to show that he's not, you know, obligating with the thing. I called the 989 number earlier. Uh -huh. I spoke to a man first, uh -huh. and then I spoke to a lady, and then a man called me back, but the phone disconnected because it was a Wi-Fi call. And that officer was telling me to follow him to 225. When I called, I was asking for an officer to meet me on Stuyvesant because I was in pursuit of the car. Because I'm never able to find this person to do what I have to do with this loan. You get what I'm saying? So I thought if I could call you, I don't know. I don't know the law. I just know what they told me on the phone. So I felt if I call the police station, you know what I'm saying? You know what you could do? What? Save your story. Tempest it, tell it to the judge. Of aggravated assault on a law enforcement officer, resisting arrest, eluding, endangering the welfare of a child, and several motor vehicle violations. Hey, moral of the story, man. All children deserve parents, but not all parents deserve children. Man, take care of your children. Love them, man. And do your best not to put them in any danger. That's the moral of the story.